Hello, my players. Hope all of you are doing well. Now, listen, this is going to be one of many classroom sessions we're going to be doing with you. Okay. The session today, I want you, first of all, I want you to get a piece of paper, get a pen, get a marker. Okay. Get a nice piece of paper because it's very important. And you can put this in your binder. Okay. This is your first session today, first classroom session. So when you get your piece of paper, I'll give you some time. I want you to write thirds of the field okay so write on it thirds of the field so are you going to write up top thirds of the field that's our topic today very simple not going to be long okay so i'll give you some time get your paper now once you get it i want you to draw a field that's right draw a field so let me draw my field here go across i'm going to come down i'm not a good draw okay Gonna come across. Awesome. Gonna put my little goal in here and my little goal. All right. Simple as that. Okay. Draw your field. Now, I don't think you can see the bottom of my field, but it is there. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is now when you draw your field, okay, I want you to put lines in. Okay. Now, let's put our field lines in. So, we're gonna take our same in the middle. This is the center of the field. Okay, the center. All right. Now, this is where we got two halves. We're going to design this field if our team is going this direction. Okay. This means is that we are defending this side and attacking this side. Okay. What does the thirds mean? What are the thirds of the field? Before we get into anything more of this tactical, I want you to understand the thirds of the field. And also what I'm going to do is add in there today is breaking down so we can concentrate on balance. All right. So we add that because that's going to be our next session talking about balance. All right. So the thirds of the field. So let's break the field down into thirds. Okay. So if I'm looking at, if this is now my first third, so let's divide this field up into thirds. Okay, I'm a little off, all right? So we've got one third, another third, and then our bottom third. It's important that you understand this. This is the first basis of breaking up a field so you can understand what the thirds are, okay? Because you're gonna hear this in the coaching sessions. Okay, what do you think? If I'm defending this side, okay, this is the side I'm defending, what do you think this third is called? I want you to think about it, okay? Take some time, think about it. Give about five seconds, right? Just think about it. What is this side called? This area, this third here, what is that the third? Okay, so look at that third. What is that third? Awesome. If you said defensive third, okay? This third, all right, is my defensive third. This is my defensive area, okay? This is the area where we defend, okay? This is our defensive area. Let's go to a second third. A second third is gonna be between the red and the red, all right? What do you think this third is? What is this third? We've got our defensive third. So what would this third of the field be? Excellent. That's right. If you said this is the middle third, the midfield third, then you are correct, right? So this third is the midfield third. Yeah, it's in the middle of the field. Okay, it's in the middle of the field. Such so a mid third. What about this? If you got your defensive third, your midfield third, what can this third possibly be? Excellent. It's either going to be your attacking third. Okay, you're attacking this area, okay? Or it can be your offensive third, okay? Very important you understand the thirds of the field. Now, here's the other thing. What happens, my players, in these thirds, okay? In each third, there's a different mindset shift in each third. 
if I'm playing in the defensive third, I have to be still play sharp, okay? So I'm still playing sharp in this area. I have to play sharp, to write this down, sharpness, okay? But now I have to make sure is that I am, I am patient and I do not make mistakes, okay? So the least mistakes I'm making in here, all right? Less mistakes, all right? Very important, making less mistakes. I have to be patient, okay? And I have to play under control. I cannot panic, okay? I cannot panic. So I have to play under control. This area is the most crucial area because the least mistakes you're gonna make in this area. So this means is that you don't dribble in this area, you don't get stuck with the ball. When in doubt, you clear the ball out, okay? All right, but this is when we're teaching the curriculum, you're gonna learn how to play in that third. What about this next third? What about this midfield third? What about the pace of the game? Okay, the pace of the game is gonna also be, it's gonna be sharp, right? That's right, pace of the game is also going to be sharp. We have to be sharp in this area. We don't want to move the ball too slow. We don't want to be slow because this is the area. It's called the transition area, okay? This is where we start to transition, okay? That's the transition area. This area transitions you now. If I've got players that's playing into this midfield area, you're transitioning now into the attack and you're transitioning the ball from defense, so your pace of the game still has to be sharp, okay? But guess what happens? You're gonna find yourself being a little bit more creative in this area, okay? So you're starting to transition from being patient, less mistakes, okay, control, to start, you still wanna be under control, okay? But what happened now, you're gonna start to be a little bit more creative, okay? So write this down. My defensive area, I want to be sharp, less mistakes, patient, under control, okay? My midfield third, my midfield area, I still have to be sharp. This one, I'm starting to transition, okay? And in that transition, you're still going to be in control, but you're going to find you may make, you may make a little bit more mistakes, okay? Because this is an area that's heavy, all right? There's a lot of people in this area. And also, you're going to start to be more creative. What does creative mean? When I'm actually to be creative in this area, what does that mean? Good. Yeah, that's good, right? Creative means is that now I'm going to be taking all my skills, all that complexity, the skills, the turns, the passing, right? And trying to find balls which allows me to execute, okay? So I'm being creative. I got to think out of the box, not being afraid to make mistakes in here, okay? Because one of your job is going to be is to help find the forwards and help to transition into this attacking area, okay? All right? If you make mistakes, it's okay because you got numbers. You're just going to limit your mistakes because when you're being creative, this means you're going to be taking some chances, okay? Now, let's look into this area. This is an area here that is very important. You cannot, all my players, once you get into this area, you're gonna, yes, you gotta be that much sharper. You know why? Because now the other team's trying to stop you from scoring, right? So you still, you know you gotta be sharp. Do you have to be creative? Oh yes, you wanna score goals, you gotta be creative, right? Because that's part of your execution. You wanna create? Be creative. What else? You still have to play under control, right? If you can go forward, you go back. You stay under control because we want to stay in that first moment of the game. And what's next? So we have sharp, creative, control. What about, are we going to make mistakes? Yes. We're going to make plenty of mistakes in this area. So you're going to have to understand this is the area where you can make plenty mistakes. I want you to understand that. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes in this area. So I want you to be very, very patient in here. 
Don't get down on yourself. I'm not talking about patient in your game. I'm talking about patient with yourself. You're going to make mistakes. If you miss a pass, if you miss a goal, it's okay. If you try to dribble a player one-on-one, that's okay. We encourage it, all right? But you're going to make some mistakes. You're just going to have to get your mindset right because that is very, very important, okay? If you make a mistake, you get back. You go again. You go again. We're going to encourage that. So this area is the area in the offensive area where you're going to find yourself being creative even more, but you're going to make a lot more mistakes, okay? So not going to stress you out with anything else, but I want you to understand that this is called the thirds of the field, okay? Write this down, draw it up, make sure, rewind the video, go back, put in slow motion, right? So you can see, so you got the thirds of the field, we got a um, defensive third, a uh, midfield third, attacking third, a uh, defensive third, but sharp, make less mistakes, be patient, under control, midfield third, sharp, transition, transitioning area, control the ball, be creative, attacking third, sharp, be creative, we're going to take chances as well, take chances, control, and also understand you're going to make mistakes, okay, that's it, that is it. My young people, my young players, okay, wish you all the best. Our next session, what we're going to do is balance the field, okay? We're going to talk about balancing the field, all right? And after that, then we're going to do our next class to teach you on positioning and the moments of the game. So right now is what we're going to do. Our next session, we're going to focus on balance, all right? Thank you. Look forward to working with you the next time. <laughs>